Talk to me about what you guys do to prevent youth from going behind bars. Okay. Um, National Counseling Group started um, or brought in MST um, with the help of the Department of Juvenile Justice and the AMI Kids. Um, and what MST stands for, it stands for multi-systemic therapy. And what we do is we work with families um, as a whole to change the behavior of the juvenile. So we work with the families to impact substance using behavior, um, truancy, um, any concerns that they have with the school or at home. Um, and we work with, I feel like I said I work with them a lot. Um, we work together to decrease that behavior by empowering the parents to change the behavior because they have a whole lot more power than um, sometimes they're led to believe. And so something we kind of talked about earlier was you guys, you know, someone might look at a youth that's getting in trouble for armed robbery per se, that's a bad kid. You guys are actually looking at everything that's brought them up to get to that point and trying to mend those relationships. Talk to me about that. Yes, so what we do is if there um, are concerns with negative peers, um, instead of us, like you said, labeling them as a bad kid, we look at them and say, okay, well, what are the causes or what's the root problem of this behavior? Um, so if they're hanging out with negative peers, maybe there needs to be more monitoring and supervision um, from the parents' uh, standpoint. Maybe there needs to be a community service activity or um, a pro-social activity that they can participate in and gain more positive peers. Um, so it just depends on whatever is going on. We try and find the root of that problem to work with the family to make it better. And you guys have been pretty successful. Talk to me, uh, you said a statistic that was pretty powerful. Mm -hmm. um, MST has been um, in this area, most recently we started in October 2017. And with all of the uh, participants and families that we've had so far, we have had in all of our statistics have been within the 80th percentile, um, which means that 80% of our juveniles are still at home when they're discharged from our program. 80% of them are still in school um, and they are, um, have not reoffended. And why do you, I mean, why do you in its simplest form feel like it works? Because we meet our families where they are, um, and we have a passion to help them and see them be successful, um, we make sure that we get to the root of it. Um, we want to see them be successful. We want to see them um, not let this be um, the path of their future. We want them to be able to make a difference in the future and show what they can really do. And. Um for you, I mean, do you have a favorite success story? Is there someone that stands out in your mind or a relationship you guys were able to mend that really made a difference for a child? Um, I will say we have had a few cases. Um, I can't think of one right offhand, but there have been a few cases where they've been successfully discharged off of probation. Um, we have had students who have successfully completed, or we have had cases where they have successfully completed their GED and have actually started college classes um, at TCC. We have some that have been successful at getting jobs. Um, so all of our successes may look a little different um, and whether they are getting jobs and furthering their education, whether it may be that their family has um, better communication skills and strategies because our age range is 12 to 17 so all of those success stories look a little bit different. And when you guys work with the families are they surprised to hear what you guys have to say that what they're doing is not proactive to creating you know a good environment for their kid? Um, yes I get a lot of pushback um, normally because parents feel like they're not on probation um, but one of the things that I like to point out to them is that we're not putting you on probation. We're just trying to help you be as successful as you can be. Um, if we took probation out of it and this was just a regular service, work with us so that you can be where you want to be, where you want to see your family be. Because um, at the end of the day, everybody wants success. Everybody wants to be successful no matter what their definition of success is.